pulled it out of the garage today because I am moving on to the headliner. So in this episode I'll be walking you through how I use this glue and this glue to put that foam and that headliner in that bug. I went with black not white just sort of going for that dark look and then it'll be with the uh, red seats and panel I think that'll look pretty neat and uh, yeah that should be it. Alright so uh, let's get started. First step clean the inside of that thing out and then uh, start spraying and attaching the foam. Got to figure out where all these pieces go. I know these are above and below the uh, rear window. These are the right rear quarters behind the rear windows. These go in front of that. Those are along the B pillars and above the doors. Uh, I'm not sure where else. So let's figure that out. I'll just start uh, gluing things in and uh, see how things play out. Okay, I'm going to start installing the headliner now. First is the foam padding. It goes along there, along there, all the way down the B pillar, over the back in that whole area, the half moon there, the upper part there, back up in here, all the way along the top of the door, and then we're good. So what I've got to do is uh, start doing the spray glue. I'm going to put the coat on in here, let it set up and get tacky, do the same on the foam, and then I will start putting pieces in. And I'll put you guys up on the stand for the installation. So I'm going to let that tack up for a minute. That was the door closing. One piece in, onward. I'm sure somebody's going to tell me I'm doing this wrong, but uh, I don't have instructions. I know what needs to be covered in foam. I got a bunch of long skinny strips that I can use to piece in. Little patches there, here and there, as needed. Uh, I think it'll work. So, I'm okay.
I have to say I'm not impressed at all with the uh, J-Bugs foam. The headliner looks good, but this foam, not labeled, not even a two-page printed instructions. Um, you know, I, I get that it's a semi-universal 68 to 78 foam pad kit, but most of these openings haven't changed and these things don't quite fit. So that's a, it's a little disappointing. Most of the stuff I get from J-Bugs is pretty good. This was... Uh, week so i'm probably going to end up going to the uh, fabric store later to uh buy another roll of foam maybe some of the sticker stuff and uh, see what i can do to patch in and make this work better so i went to uh, joanne fabrics and got some uh foam half inch thick compared to that quarter inch thick stuff over there uh, i'm not going to film a whole lot more my neighbor is mowing his lawn so it's a little bit loud and my wife is going to be running the uh, clothes dryer over there uh, in a few minutes. So uh, it's just going to be a lot of loud uh, background noise. When everything quiets down, I'll bring you guys back in and show you my progress and what's left. I'll definitely show you uh, the video of me putting in the uh, cloth sort of felt headliner padding. Because uh, I'm sure I'm going to look like an absolute goofball uh, as this thing tries to swallow me whole when I sit inside the bug, so that might be entertaining. So, see you in a bit. Foam padding is in. All the green went above the doors and uh, down in this rear quarter area. The idea being that that's where uh, I wanted it thickest. So, why is it not green? Well, I spray painted it black using what I had left over which is a little bit of a flat protective enamel, some engine enamel, I even had some roll bar chassis paint from my Willys Jeep. Basically, I discovered that the headliner has tiny little holes in it, little perforations. Uh, and it's a stylistic element, but it allows the green to show through, the cream to show through, and then back in the way back, the gray. In which case, uh, it's another complaint about J-Bugs. Um, again, they, are, they give me good stuff but the foam should be the same color so that the air holes in the vinyl uh, headliner are consistently the same color i just you know that's disappointing so what i did was i spray painted everything black so that there is consistency now under the vinyl headliner so i can start getting ready to install the headliner felt and, uh, and then eventually the actual headliner. So I am going to uh, get back to it and uh, bring you guys back in a, a little bit. Here we go. Line the middle. I was going to end up doing that. That's all right. I can fix it. Small wrinkles in the back here, but uh, I'm okay with that. Not sure I showed you what I'm using. Used about a can and a half. Well, if this was the final coat of anything, It certainly could have been prettier, but knowing that it's going to get covered up by the actual headliner, I'm okay with piecing it together. A 
final look over. Little jagged there. Little messy jagged there, I admit. Little wrinkly there. But, generally speaking, that is a padded headliner and it's installed. So now I gotta put on the actual vinyl headliner. I'm gonna do that another day. It's time for me to coach my kid in lacrosse, so I gotta head off. All right, this section's in. Those wrinkles will be covered up. Another piece goes along there. Looking pretty good up there. View from the outside. Here you can see the uh, little relief cuts that I put in. That allows it to go around the bend. Did the same on the other side. It's looking all right. I'm going to do a little work to get the uh, wrinkles out of that bottom section there. Most, if not all, that will be covered by the seat, but still, I'm going to give that another go, and then I'm moving on. One of the tips suggested by uh, J-Bugs is to glue a strip of cardboard to the back of the little clamping jaws on the uh, underside of the roof above the door, the top of the door frame here. Uh, that will then get a little bit of spray and so when you're putting the headliner on you can glue it to that and then uh, it'll hold while you tuck it in to the teeth from the uh, outside and uh, hammer it all in. So anyway, if you don't have the J-Bugs tip uh, videos, uh, that is a suggestion they make. Time to put the actual headliner in. Um, you got the vinyl there in pretty good shape. I've got all the bows cleaned up. See here, I just uh, ran them along the. Uh, I have a wire brush on my grinding wheel. Uh, and now I have to be uh, popping this stuff in one at a time. Short ones go up front. I've accepted the fact that I'm going to be getting some of this spray glue on the outside of the car in various spots. I've already gotten some there and uh, it's actually not that hard to clean up. Um, it is stickier than heck, but it isn't that hard to clean up. So all the instructions I've read say to do the front, get it all even nice and cross the front, and then you pull the back section uh, all the way back, get that secured so it's taut this way, then you pull it this way and work it around. So that is what I'm going to do. Now I just got to wait for that to tack up. So because my bug is a 69, the uh, headliner does cover up the whole top portion in front of uh, or above the uh, window. Sorry about that.
Okay, so what I'm doing over here, I'm preparing this lip because I'm going to fold it under and then seal it off. And I'm hoping when I do that, that it gives it a uh, little bit more of a finished look. So i got to wait for this stuff to uh, tack up. Okay, so I pulled it tight to stick it to the uh, cardboard strip. So now, actually, Okay, so I folded this over and sort of stuck it to itself. So now I can roll it in. And shove it up in there. That's looking all right. I'm calling that pretty good so far. It is loose at the back over in there, but it's because I haven't attached it all yet. So I'm going to get to that now. All right, so working on that little touch up there. Overall, that's looking good. Now it's a matter of just figuring out exactly how to put this stuff on. I think I'm going to work from the back here, that side, that side, and then pull it down into the well there. And then I have a separate piece that goes there, there, and along here. So why don't we uh, work towards that?
as with just about everything on this project, never done it before. So, learning along the way. All right, got some wrinkles there. Time to move into the uh, rear wheel well area and see how we do. Not sure how much of this I'm going to keep. I might end up cutting here, tearing it all off for the piece that goes here. But uh, I'll make that decision after I get to that piece. I know it's a little nuts how much uh, glue I got on there, but. Call me paranoid. Oh, well, I'm doing my best. Not perfect, but not bad. Time to do that part. Well, the GoPro died, so uh, I had to plug it in, and you missed this bit. Uh, if you recall from many episodes back, this is supposed to tuck into a channel uh, between the firewall and this upper part, and I, mine had rusted out, right? It was filled with packing, you know, fiberglass, you know, batting, whatever. So my fix was to put a piece of sheet metal over the whole thing. I basically cut this out, re-welded in a patch piece to get it sealed up. However, that did eliminate the channel. So right now it's glued back here. It's glued up here. Um, it didn't quite fit. Uh, I think that's me uh, and my installation. So I've put in a strip folded over here and a similar one down there to uh, hide that. Uh, I got a lot of glue cleanup, guys. It, I just, after a while, I just sort of accepted the fact that I was going to spend an hour or more after I'm done with the headliner doing glue cleanup. It is what it is. But that side piece is in. Some wrinkles, but again, I'm okay with wrinkles. They're not obnoxious. And then again, I think that came out pretty nice, generally speaking. So now it's a matter of putting in some windows. All right, guys, been done for now. If this is the end of the episode, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, any comments, um, thumbs up, subscribe, you know the usual deal. Talk to you later.